Morning, Sutamani again. How are you today? Enjoying a wonderful walk here this morning. It's about 7.30 and um, I'm at Lakelands. I haven't been here before. It's a, a golf course on the Gold Coast designed by Jack Nicholas, and it's just spectacular taking a few photos as I'm going around. I just wanted to have a chat today about the importance of um, hooking up an autoresponder to your capture page. Now, when I first came online, I just used to make friends with people, one-on-one, -on, -one, on Skype, and I'd spend hours chatting to different people, and um, also on Facebook. But Skype really lends itself to chatting to people, so I really enjoyed Skype. And um, whenever I got anyone to join a business with me, um, we'd have a Skype room. And I, I must have spent hours in those Skype rooms chatting and chatting and chatting. And looking back on it, it was sort of um, a bit of a waste of time as far as making money goes. It was lovely as an occupation, but um, it was just absolutely a waste of time. I mean, sometimes uh, we'd help one another, but most of the time it was just, I don't know, just a bit pointless really, a lot of the chat that went on and a lot of people were sort of saying I can't do this, I can't do that and, and becoming really dependent on one another and um, it was as if they couldn't go and do any work because they were too busy chatting. <laughs> it's very tempting isn't it? And of course the same thing happens on Facebook, um, on all of the social networks, Twitter, all of those things can happen where you just spend so much time chatting to people. Now with um, my latest business, a lot of the joiners don't even chat to me once. I don't even know who they are. <laughs> it's just astonishing, one-on-one. -on -one. Um, but what I have done, and I, I've done it in the past, but not consistently and not um, with intention. Now, um, the beauty of an autoresponder is that people can get to know you without even talking to you. And of course, if you get the chance to, of course, you do talk to people as they come into your system. But it's it's sort of like a voluntary thing. So my very first email says, please connect with me. Here's my Facebook. Here's my Skype. Here's my this, that, the other. And if they connect with me, then I have a chat, of course. Of course I do. But a lot of people are a bit shy about doing that straight away. So what I use the autoresponder for is to let people get to know me. Now, I have, I'm not really good at it yet. I'm getting better, improving. But what, as you start it and you keep going month after month and you suddenly realise, hang on, hardly anybody opened that email up. But I had a 4% open rate on that one. And you think, what did I do there that was different? <laughs> so it's, it's a real learning process. Um, and, uh, of course, the trick is to not worry when people unsubscribe. just means that, you didn't click with them or whatever or perhaps they were just sussing out your system now for a long long time I I went looking around for free autoresponders for free this and free that and you know wasted a lot of time actually heaps of time and if, if you haven't used an autoresponder before if you haven't used a proper one go and do it today honestly it's a piece of cake go and find one doesn't matter what it is you can even search and say, what's the best autoresponder? Um, shouldn't cost you any more than $15, $20 a month to start. <clears throat> and if you can't afford that, go and get a job. Don't worry about internet marketing because that's a minimum expense, that is. But what it will become is, it's like a hub of your business. Anything you want to tell all your subscribers, you can tell them straight away. You just put together an email, make a video, whatever, and send it to them. So they can know exactly what you're doing at any time of day or night, whatever. <laughs> um, so if I were you, I'd start with Aweber. That's what I've started with. And it's very, very easy. It's very basic. And there's lots of support. They um, have a blog where they give you lots of tips. And if you get stuck and you don't know how to do something, search for it. It's all there. 
if you if you search in Aweber and you can't find the answer, search on Google, search on YouTube. There are literally thousands and thousands of training bits and pieces that people have got. When you do your search, make sure you find stuff that's new, not two years or three years ago, because that'll be telling you about stuff that isn't current. You don't need anybody to show you how to do it. It's all there online. You really have no excuse for not having an autoresponder. If you're serious about making money online, go and do it today. It's no use learning anything about marketing. No use studying how to market on Facebook, how to do this, how to do that. Forget it all until you've got your autoresponder set up. Even if you've only got one email in it, welcoming people and introducing yourself. <laughs> and then as you go along, you can add more emails. Or if you've got a someone that will give you a whole bunch of emails that are relevant to your business, put them in. Uh, you know, I've, I've got a job to go back. I've got to go back and add more emails in there because I haven't made mine, um, what's the word, interesting enough for people who want to learn stuff. I need to put some free training stuff, free information, free whatever. So I'll be putting, I'll make an email up about this, um, encouraging all of my people in my autoresponder to go and get their own autoresponder and I'll put this email in there as well just google it guys it's all there okay it's just starting to rain a little bit here it's a beautiful day here today breeze blowing gorgeous won't be dead for quids have a good day see ya